Another big story that we're working on tonight, your state tax dollars could be paying for a crisis hotline that urges women not to get abortions. Team 12's Bram Resnick is here with those developing details. Bram? Yeah, an anti-abortion outfit in Texas could collect, uh, collect up to $7.5 million from Arizona taxpayers to persuade pregnant women here not to get abortions. This is the latest anti-abortion bill from Kathy Herod, and it's getting its first public hearing tonight as the legislature rushes to pass a budget. Just hours after pro-choice supporters rallied at the Capitol. This has been a very successful program in helping women um, choose abortion alternatives. Kathy Herod's latest anti-abortion bill was unveiled. The architect of more than a dozen pro-life laws in Arizona over the last decade wants taxpayers to spend $7.5 million on a statewide anti-abortion network run by a Texas organization. Why should Arizona taxpayers have to pay for this? Well, Arizona is a state that values life and values um, supporting life and supporting women, helping women provide them with the social services that are available to access alternatives to abortion. The money would go to Human Coalition, a faith-based nonprofit that is aggressively anti-abortion. It operates an online network of counselors and other support staff in several cities that advise pregnant women. This is just bad for consumers to get limited and biased information with one objective in mind. Planned Parenthood's Jody Liggett is accustomed to being under fire from Kathy Herod and her Center for Arizona Policy. We are highly regulated um, by the state and we are neutral. We provide all options to patients who come into us for care. And the cash for Kathy Herod's bill could come at the expense of the statewide 211 crisis response line. Herod opposed funding the line because she claimed it promoted abortion. Live in the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thanks.